Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I've got a good one for you today. It's a case that has been making its rounds across the stacking community. It appears uh, I'm not the only one here and I'm a little late in covering lithium in the company I'm going to cover today. So the case for reliable, clean and affordable energy has once more been highlighted by today's high prices for energy. We've been seeing prices rise now for the last year and prices are only going to increase on newly imposed economic sanctions on one of the world's largest global energy exporters okay so uh, whether you support that or not it's happening and uh, we're all going to feel it in all corners of the world so these calls for green energy continue to outpace the world's ability to deliver on those promises however as many nuclear capable countries have gone away from nuclear energy over concerns from events that took place in the past, such as in Chernobyl or Fukushima. And to make matters worse, modern-day wind farms and hydroelectric facilities that were built in order to replace the nuclear energy plants that were decommissioned have proven, well, pretty incapable of providing sufficient energy to meet the demands of industrial nations, okay? It takes energy to build things. Now, I say all of this because demand for clean energy is also driving the price and value of lithium quite a bit higher. It's actually in a pretty strong bull case scenario today. So that's going to be the focus of today's video. Another commodity that is literally exploding in value, a commodity that is the critical and essential metal required for the manufacture of lithium ion batteries. All right. Now, like others in this community who released videos this week on lithium, I did have the chance to review this market and to review this company and choose whether or not I wanted to cover it here on my channel. And looking at it, the case for lithium today is incredibly strong. So guys, if you want to learn more about uh, you know lithium or investing in uh, companies that are engaged in lithium production, then at a minimum, you know, stay tuned, hear my perspective and stick with me because I'm um, happy to share my opinions here on it. I think it's pretty promising. Now, what's important about this video you're watching is that lithium ion batteries are predominantly used for EVs or electric vehicles, you know, such as the new Teslas that you see riding around everywhere these days. This industry just so happens to be one of the world's fastest growing markets, okay? So it's exploding. I mean, it's the bottom line. It, unless you're living under a rock or you're completely opposed to uh, you know, stock market investing at all, then uh, you know you might want to pay attention because an opportunity exists to take advantage of this uh, you know bull run, these bullish prices for lithium, and it's not too late. Okay, a lot of times when you hear about stuff, uh, you know the, most of the gains are already in, and there have been big gains, but there is a very long term outlook here, and it's it's bullish and it's favorable. All right, so. Here's an update on lithium's performance just last week. And uh, listen to this and see if it jumps out to you. So lithium carbonate prices in China extended their rally to 493,500 won per ton in the second week of March, marking a gain of 74% so far in 2022 amid high global demand and projections of scarcity. That's right. There's only so much of this stuff and it takes a long time to... Uh, you know, find new sites to develop them and begin bringing lithium to market. All right. So sales of electric vehicles powered by lithium batteries are soaring amid the transition to greener energy. According to Adamus Intelligence, a record 25,921 tons of lithium carbonate equivalent batteries were deployed to roads across the globe during December of 2021. That's a 68% increase on the year and a 31% increase on the month, okay, month over month. At the same time, sales of new energy vehicles in China rose by 157% to 3.2 million units in 2021 and are expected to surpass 5 million in 2022. There are quite a few new emerging EV companies, some of them coming out of China. Meanwhile, battery manufacturers race to secure long-term supply contracts, okay? There's futures contracts here just with you know, like all other commodities, okay? And that is due to the minerals scarcity and this increasing demand. Benchmark Mineral Intelligence estimates a, well, estimates a 26,000 ton shortfall in 2022. Okay, so we're already looking at, uh, you know, a deficit for 2022 and a 300,000 ton shortfall by 2030 as miners cannot keep up with demand. Okay, it's quite simple. There's Plenty of lithium on the planet, just um, not very many locations where it's 
abundant enough where it's financially, um, how should I say, it makes sense, I should say, in order to extract it and actually bring that lithium to market. But we're going to be talking here about one of those places right now. So you're starting to get it. It's a simple supply and demand, uh, you know, uh, economy here, like most other commodities, really. When you've got, uh, you know, higher demand than the available supply to meet that demand, prices are going to rise, okay? You've got something like precious metals here, something that is scarce. It's uh, pretty difficult to harvest and demand currently exceeds supply. It sounds pretty good to me. So lithium may not be a precious metal, so to speak, but it sure is precious today due to its unique properties in this hot market and the increasing social pressure to, uh, you know, perform, right? In order to increase our batteries capabilities and go more green, uh, not only to save the earth, but also to, uh, you know, keep us from being uh, uh, subject to um, repercussions when global events take place that have absolutely nothing to do with us, okay? All of us watching today have absolutely nothing to do with what's going on in Ukraine, yet we're all paying the price for it, okay? So Lithium Chile is one of the top lithium exploration companies on the planet with claims in the hottest lithium producing region in the world, that is the Lithium Triangle, and that's where I'd start with those that are, you know, already interested in lithium. I'd, I'd start by researching the Lithium Triangle and understanding the companies that are operating there. As uh, many are already producing and not in the exploration stage that could take years to reach production. All right, so the Lithium Triangle is a region of the Andes Mountains, okay, which is rich in lithium reserves located along the borders of Argentina, Bolivia, and Chile. Lithium is concentrated in various salt pans that exist along the Atacama Desert and its neighboring arid areas. All right, so it's the top lithium producing region of our world, so definitely well positioned here. And Lithium Chile, the company, has ownership in the largest high grade lithium reserves in the world, right smack dad in the Lithium Triangle, which provides nearly 75% of the annual global lithium that comes to market. So this one uh, region here along uh, you know, the border of three countries is providing 75% of global lithium. All right, so it's incredibly well positioned to capitalize here, having production already ongoing in this region with massively increasing demand and subsequent, uh, you know, uh, prices for pure lithium here on the rise, which is creating a more profitable environment for this company to operate. So whether the company profits off of this increased demand or is uh, you know, eventually bought out by larger investors who want to, uh, you know, pour more capital into it and expand upon it. Um, that I cannot tell you, but uh, as it sits right now, things look pretty good to me. So financially, the company is also strong with millions in cash on hand. All right. And 43% of its shares are owned by institutions or those directly involved with the management of the company. Okay, we're seeing the same share structure that we see with a lot of uh, precious metals mining companies where there's not uh, much of a salary for the for the senior management team, but uh, you know their performance and their, should I say, profitability is largely tied to the performance of the company. All right, so financially, the company is also strong uh, based on the geographic area that they're operating. Okay, Chile and Argentina are very favorable in low-cost countries to operate within. That does create greater opportunities for Lithium Chile to expand its operations while also keeping their operational costs much lower than if they were to explore and mine in other geographic regions. Uh, not to mention things are peaceful down there, okay? So it's a good place to be. In order to shorten this video, however, and really get the facts directly to you, I wanted to recap what I consider to be the top four considerations when it comes to researching and looking at lithium and lithium Chile as a potential investment opportunity, all right? So first, lithium prices have been rising dramatically since last August at the same time that fossil fuels really began to climb, uh, you know, here in the United States. Uh, with the war in Europe, more attention than ever has been, uh, you know, shifted towards the need for alternate forms of energy, namely clean energy, considering the cartel which operates the oil trade known as OPEC and the governments that are involved in that. I mean, these are governments that uh, most of the Western nations uh, take issue with, okay? So we've got new government sanctions imposed uh, by much of the world on one of the largest producers of oil in the world, that's Russia, okay? That's gonna impact everybody. 
Uh, whether you're for it or not, uh, we're going to be feeling that when it comes to higher energy prices. And second, Lithium Chile has 13 total properties already functioning in the world's best yielding lithium region. So it's not an exploration and development story here. This is not a Cinderella story. Uh, this is something that is already happening. They're already on the lithium. They're already providing lithium to the market. And, uh, you know, things are looking pretty good. So instead of, you know, a fully operational company that is uh, looking to expand and explore and begin, uh, you know, uh, putting news reports out on, on, on what their drilling results are, you're already seeing it come out of the ground. It's already going to market. So third, Chile and Argentina are both countries with lithium Chile operations and are also first and second cheapest when it comes to countries that operate in when it comes to mining uh, on planet Earth. OK, super cheap to conduct these operations there. These nations are also not oblivious to the global demand. And Lithium Chile is well established already with these governments. They've got a great reputation, which could benefit them further when it comes to expansion, which is uh, very likely to take place, all right? So Chile itself does rank eighth globally when it comes to mining in general. That's a, a combination of prices, uh, government um, uh, favorability of mining activities, how easy it is to get permits, uh, you know, environmental aspects and so on. So Chile is a, you know pretty high up there. So little concerns here, as would be the case in some other uh, more remote locations. And finally, it's still cheap to get in with share prices remaining under one U.S. dollar, but expected to continue to increase in value over years to come and not just in weeks or months. Right. This is not a sporadic uh, shoot up in price here. Okay. This isn't just going to go away. The population is growing and expanding. Western nations are pushing towards more efficient and green energy. Um, all those things are catalysts for more lithium production. All right. So I placed several links with more information on the company in the video description section down below for those of you interested in doing, you know, your own reading and research, which is what I always recommend. Okay. I spent hours researching this company here uh, before making this video. And I I think it's a, probably a pretty good idea before you put any money into something like this to do the same thing. All right. But I, I honestly haven't been as, as excited about a company, um, you know, uh, since Uranium Energy Corp. When I covered them uh, late last year, another energy play, OK, uh, supporting nuclear energy, which is also associated with uh, green energy. There's just a strong case today, folks, for gold and silver. And there's also a strong case for these commodities, which support cleaner more efficient energy outside of oil. We still need oil. We still need coal. This is not an anti-oil or coal push. Uh, there's plenty of opportunities there too. Just wanted to make you aware of a uh, emerging opportunity, one which is still relatively affordable and has shown signs of being successful and uh, will continue to be successful going forward. So what do you think of lithium and this small company, Lithium Chile? It has found itself honestly in a great position today as they've already been there for years. Are you looking to take advantage of increasing energy prices? All right, we're all going to feel it at the pump. We're all going to, you know, see higher uh, power bills as natural gas prices rise. And uh, really all energy is, is becoming more and more expensive. So, uh, you know, you have an opportunity here to offset some of those expenses by potentially making gains uh, at the same time. All right, because lithium ion batteries are just in, in such incredibly high demand right now and the technology is continuing to evolve so if you do decide to check this company out as mentioned links will be down below i always encourage you to view the links and do your own research and see for yourself what i have already found out rather than just you know listening to me ran on i know there's a lot of um, distrust out there and i don't blame you for that uh, you know i'm not I'm not trying to 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 send you uh, in the wrong direction here, guys and girls. I really think that this is something uh, that you could potentially take advantage of. Otherwise, I wouldn't report on it. So thanks again, all. Have a fabulous day out there and keep working to build a better financial future for yourself and your loved ones. And as always, you can expect a little help coming you know, right here from this channel in order to do that. So thank you all for watching today. Until next video, take care, my friends. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel.